Let's update you on the Patriot League tournament bracket. We will have a doubleheader for you exclusively on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. I'm Justin Antwell flying solo. Coming up, it's Bucknell against American, 41st all-time meeting. The Eagles lead the all-time series 24 to 16. This will be the fourth time these two hook up in the playoffs, and the Eagles are 0-3 all-time against the Bison in the Patriot League tournament. They lost in 08, 2013, and last year here at Soika in the quarterfinals. And then a little bit later on, the rivalry that is Army versus Navy. American and Bucknell will get things going. Last month, it was American that snapped Bucknell's program record 12-game winning streak. Well, now they're going to have to snap Bucknell's eight-game winning streak. The Bison ended the regular season with seven straight wins, all by nine points or more. But they had to eke out a win against a pesky Loyola team this past Monday in the quarterfinals. The Bison shot 60%, and they still only won by three. The starting five for the Bucknell Bison, they'll use this fivesome for the 24th time this season. Kai English, Megan McGurk, Claire DeBoer, Sune Swart, and Caitlin Slagas. This unit is 20-3 and three when they start games together. As for American, Emily Kiniston, Maria Ledane, Elena Koskimius, Cecily Carl, and Lauren Chrysler. No Caitlin Lewis for American. She's out with a shoulder injury. That's a big loss. She's a 39% three-point shooter. Two members in the third team all league selections will tip it off. Six foot three Cecily Carl and six foot four Sune Swart. Swart had 20 points in the quarterfinals to pace the way for the Bison. The official Sean Good, Christy Vera, and Michael Schmidt. The final four is underway. Eagles in their eye popping blue jerseys, Bucknell in their home whites, where they've won 26 consecutive home games, third longest home winning streak in the country. Only UCLA and UConn with longer streaks. Little high-low play, missing the layup from point-blank range. It's Lauren Chrysler. And here comes the Bison. Bucknell runs a motion offense. They like to go inside out. They're going to establish the low blocks with the player of the year, Claire DeBoer. McGurk surveys the floor. DeBoer was covered. Swart launches the three. Misfire. Swart had two big threes, including the game winner with 250 remaining against Loyola in the quarterfinals. Maria Ledane had 11 assists in the quarterfinals, dumps it down low to Carl. Koskimis has the ball jarred loose by Kai English. Kai English, big time performer in three career playoff games. She's tallied double figures in all of them, including a career high 20 against American last year in the quarterfinals in a 73-65 win at Soika Pavilion. Bucknell was down 11 in the second quarter in that game. Ledane finds Keniston. We spotlighted her in the intro. Keniston's Dropped 26 last time she was at Soika Pavilion. Second team all-league selection. Trying to make her a move, a little mismatch. Schwartz guarding Keniston. Could close out by English. Koskimis kicks Keniston, the three, too long. Nearly a shot clock violation. Rebound hauled in by Caitlin Slagas, the second best rebounder in the Patriot League. McGurk over to English, stolen away by Maria Ledane. Bison get back on defense. Can Ladane finish? She does. And the Eagles draw first blood 90 seconds in. A little crafty shoulder fake by Maria Ladane to buy some time in the air. Good hang time. McGurk's been playing very well the last handful of games. Three double-figure performances her last five after only one double-figure performance her first 24. She has the ball. Reverses it to English. To Slagas. Down low to Swart, double team. That means somebody's open. McGurk, extra pass English, nearly an up and down. Four on the timer, need to get something going. Blocked by Ladane. Two seconds left on the shot clock for Bucknell. They'll inbound the ball underneath their own hoop. This is a Bucknell offense that has scored the most points per game in the Patriot League as you take another look at the block by Ladane. They average 67.2 points per game. McGurk finds Slagas, hook shot at the buzzer. Ties it at two. Soft touch for the nimble Caitlin Slagas. Was the rookie of the year last year, second team all-league selection this year. She's, gonna, she's going down the same path that Claire DeBoer went down. Cecily Carl, she can stretch the floor. She'll launch the three, but there's an offensive foul away from the basketball on Maria Ledane. Teams first, her first. Thanks so much for spending your Friday evening with us. A doubleheader on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. The Bucknell Bison are the top seed. They won the regular season outright. Last year, they were co-regular season champs. 33-3 their last two years in league play. And one of those three losses came to American last month. You know Bucknell's eyeballing some revenge. 
DeBoer going to slash and corkscrew away through. Crafty move from DeBoer, uses the glass too strong. Swart skies for the board, but it's ripped away by Ladane. American pushing the tempo. Kiniston's strength is the mid-range game and her vision. A kick to Koskimi's top of the key. Carl launches the three and sinks it. Americans very proficient at passing the basketball. They lead the Patriot League in assists per game. McGurk finds English. Over to DeBoer. Claire DeBoer has the ball stripped by Keniston. It stays with the Bison, 6.52 remaining, and Kate Walker checks in for Kai English. Kate Walker has provided a big-time spark for the Bucknell Bison this season. She went from 2.6 points per game to 8.9 points per game in a year. McGurk driving parallel to the baseline. We have a blocking foul on Cecily Carl. Second team foul on American. First personal on, Steph, on Cecily Carl. Take another look. She didn't set her feet. That's why it's a blocking foul. It was not in the act of shooting. Megan McGurk was trying to coach the officials into letting her shoot too. To no avail. She'll bend the ball underneath her own hoop. 6.48 remaining. 5-2 American leads Bucknell. A quick dump to Swart down low. Hook shot goes. Sune Swart started one game her first three years. She's making her 30th start her senior season. The tri-captain makes it a 5-4 ball game. Down low to Koskimi's, partially blocked by Slagas, still able to be flipped in by Elena Koskimi's, making the spot start for the injured Caitlin Lewis. 7-4 American lead, 6-20 remaining. Kate Walker, never bashful to shoot, but finds McGurk. DeVore's worked on a perimeter game her last two seasons. DeVore finds Walker. Little mid-range game for Walker, little floater. Hard to believe Kate Walker was not considered a top 15 player by the Patriot League coaches this year. She's shooting 46% from downtown. Carl for three. That was a heat check for her. Too long, but scurrying for the offensive board. It's Koskimi's. Lauren Chrysler, a little mid-range game. In and out. Batted up in the air and secured by Slagas. Bison have a chance for their first lead. McGurk stops. Down low to Swart, knocked away by Carl. Eagle defense clogging up the paint. That's Bucknell's bread and butter. Ladane down low. Chrysler against Slagas, blocked by Slagas. Slagas has twice as many blocks this year as she did her first year. She's being able to defend without fouling. That's what Coach Lane preaches, the assistant who runs the post unit. Midway through the first quarter, McGurk drives and we have a charge. Drawing the charge and setting her feet outside the circle, Cecily Carl. Take another look. Megan McGurk, little head fake and comes crashing in to Carl. That's five foot seven against six foot three. Advantage American. Maria Ladane. Went to Gross Point North. Claire DeBoer went to Gross Point South. They went to high, they were high school rivals. And now they're Patriot League rivals. Ladane orchestrating the offense. Leads the league in assist at five per game. She finds Michael Harris. As Kat Romaine is checked in. Harris dropped a career high 16 against the Bison on February 1st. Chrysler down the left side of the key. Little floater. Gets the roll. That was a Disney shot. That hit off the back rim, hit off the right side of the rim, then dropped in. That's what you see in those dramatic Disney movies. 425 remaining. 9-6 American leads Bucknell. DeBoer thought about the tie. Good closeout by Keniston. Romain down low to Slagas. The blow by and the finish. Smooth move by Caitlin Slagas. Spun the right direction. Been able to cap off the possession with a hoop. Next stoppage while we'll media timeout. Koskimius to Michael Harris. Little jab for Keniston. Scoops and scores. That is a pretty move, a one-on-one -on -one situation for Emily Keniston. So quick. McGurk blitzes by the defense and scores. Weaves her way through three American defenders. 
This is the winningest senior class in Bucknell women's basketball history. The tri-captains of Megan McGurk, Sune Swart, and Claire DeBoer. Keniston, a quick trigger, comes up short. Slagus with the board. Five rebounds for Caitlin Slagus and four points already. On pace for a 13th double-double this season. Had just one her freshman year. That's how much she's improved. Down low to the aforementioned Slagus. Hook shot goes. Bucknell shooting 67%. American 46%. 12-11, Bucknell leads their first lead of the game. Bucknell in their matchup zone. Keniston to Koskimius. Maria Ledane calling for the ball. Guarded by Walker, one of the best defenders. Michael Harris, mid-range jumper. Another Disney roll for the Eagles. Soft touches off the rim. Eagles storm back in front. DeBoer's been held scoreless. She's led the team in scoring in 17 of her last 24 games. Romain finds DeBoer. Oh, she thought about the 30-footer. Holds the trigger. Kate Walker trying to navigate around Ledane and score. That's a pretty move by Kate Walker, who really worked in her mid-range game with shooting coach Carissa Thielbar this offseason. It's been paying dividends her entire sophomore year. She's always been a great athlete. Now she's a great basketball player. Chrysler with the finish high off the glass. Good response for the Eagles. It's been a seesaw affair in the first quarter. 15-14 American leads Bucknell. McGurk, bounce, intended for Romaine, and they're gonna say it goes off Cat Romaine. It'll be American basketball when we come back.